Hello and welcome to the EUC show. It's your man John here and this is the only show on the internet devoted to all things EUC. The place where you can come to be both educated and entertained and who knows, maybe even find yourself along the way. It's News Roundup, the part of the show where I take a look at EUC headlines from around the world. Or should I say, in tribute to Donald Trump, welcome to Fake News Week, where some fantastic stories have been circulating that deserve to be shared. First up, this image was posted along with a claim that Honda are entering into the PEV market, producing something of a hybrid between an EUC and a scooter. A sort of handlebarless two-wheel device with power pads, some nice grippy foot plates, and apparently some decent stats to go along with it. It looks like a cross between one of those robot dogs that people seem to wantonly abuse and my grandmother's old Electro Lux vacuum cleaner. And no wonder it looks dated because this is indeed fake news. Here someone has taken a photo of Honda's 1980s petrol driven Moto Compo and with a bit of Photoshop has fooled a few people into getting a bit worked up. Secondly, it looked for a moment as if a new wheel manufacturer, Bliss One, was about to hit the market with this interesting little photo. But as someone commented, if they somehow hid a battery in there, I'm in. But it turns out to be... Thank you, you're thank you. It is just a clever bit of Photoshop, and it is beautiful, but just impractical as a design. Can you imagine what would happen if somehow your loose clothing got caught in this wheel? So what is Bliss One? Well, it appears to be a YouTuber who posts footage of himself riding around in slow motion. It's ridiculous, who would watch that? And another clever person spotted this photo and labelled it In Motion V14 soon to be released. While it wouldn't surprise me that another wheel is already in pre-production, this is just a bit of fake news. I'm not sure what is under the blanket, possibly a statue of a giant Mr. Happy, but given the state of the world right now, probably not. Something that isn't fake news and Kingsong have shown some more photos of the final production stages of the 16S and the addition of power pads and new upgraded foot plates do look great. Production is going well apart from this bloke who looks a bit confused and maybe pulling bits off the wheels rather than sticking them on. Now it's time for riders and sliders. Here's where I show you some footage of people showing off their skills or getting senselessly hurt. And in the week where the government's response to strike action by nursing and ambulance staff was to advise the public to avoid doing risky things, here is some footage of people falling off EUCs. Thanks to good friend of the show EUC Wheeler who shared this clip with me of a confused chap dressed as Spider-Man, looking like he's having a full mental breakdown with an EUC. First off, he calls himself Batman on an EUC, but he is doing goodness only knows what with his M104. Maybe he's trying to stay slim for his costume. You never see fat people dressed like Spider-Man, do you? <laughs> But here he is riding out in public as if you don't get enough attention on your EUC and you need to give people some other reason to point and stare at you and who knows, maybe even shout abuse. Here's another rider who dresses himself as a superhero, a guy in the UK calling himself Ringpole Man. I've actually met him and he is an amazing guy doing fantastic charity work, raising millions of pounds to reduce poverty in the Philippines. But even Ringpole Man is not invincible. As this newspaper report demonstrates, even all the superhero gear all the time is not always enough. I've put a link to Ringpole Man's TED talk in the text below. Check him out, it's well worth a listen. And here is a rider showing off coming down a flight of stairs. I've never seen stairs like this before, but I imagine that these are the kind of stairs that lead to Elton John's bedroom. It's only when the rider gets to the bottom that you realise he did it all backwards. Show off. Because the next rider proves that riding down steps is not as easy as some people make it look. Here he goes, not looking too confident from the outset, and then tries to put his foot on backwards. That has got to hurt. Feet aren't meant to point that way. He must have misread the story of Cinderella and tried to not only leave a slipper on the staircase, but tried to keep a snapped off foot in it too. And as for trying to put your foot down, I'm not sure what this next contributor was thinking here, 
riding along quite happily while sat down and for some reason one of his feet has a mind of its own and decides to bail on him. He goes down like a sack of old potatoes, not really trying to put his hands out to cushion the fall, and then he waves at the camera as if to say, I meant to do that. If that was his plan, it was a stupid plan. And here's the part of the show where I trawl through social media, bringing you the best and often the worst of what it has to offer. And if you are wanting to get your hands on an InMotion V13, but are freaking out over the price, I think I may have the perfect solution. Here we see not so much getting your hands on a V13, as getting a V13 on your hands. An amazing bit of craftsmanship, and the trend for small wheels continues with this guy proving that power pads are just as important for little EUCs as full size ones. I love the way his fingers walk in, carrying the power pads to be fitted. If there is an Oscar category for finger work, I'm sure he's going to get it. As Woody Allen once said, if there is reincarnation, I'd like to come back as Warren Beatty's fingertips. Next up is this guy testing out, well, I'm not sure what, a tyre burnout test? I'm not entirely sure what this proves. Maybe it is the new industry standard way to check how much damage a new EUC will inevitably do to your whole carpet or the lino in the kitchen when you pick it up one day without turning it off. And finally, here is another little cartoon that made me chuckle. And now it's time for Readers Lives. This is the point where I read out some of the comments I've received on my recent videos. A shout out first of all to The Wheel World who tells me that he watches this show while getting ready for work. Tuck your shirt in mate, make a bit of an effort. Dress for the job you want, not the job you have. Reynold Rollert was surprised I hadn't mentioned this comment, so now I have, and his, particularly because he likened me to the Bikini Girl as someone who gets all my subscribers motivated in the morning. A little bit of sick just came into my mouth when I read that. And finally, a frequent commenter and a friend of the channel, Free Forrester, hopes that Santa brings me a new Sherman S. Me too and says happy Christmas to you and yours and I consider everyone watching this to be me and mine so if you celebrate Christmas have a good one thanks for all your support this year I really appreciate all your comments and contributions and I'm loving this little real life community that's starting to grow that's it for this episode and indeed for this year I'm taking a break next week so the EUC show will be back in two weeks time to start 2023 with a bang please hit the like button consider it your little Christmas gift to me and stay safe, stay warm, and stay happy. Love you. Bye.